Welcome everybody. Thank you very much that I had the opportunity to present here our master's program. So I'm Lena Greinke from Leibniz University Hanover and I'm employed at the Institute of Environmental Planning where we offer a full English program which is um, called the Master of Science Environmental Planning and Territorial Development. But we have an um, a track or major at our website. It's called major, but we will um, name it track in the following uh, months. So I put both on this slides, but it's still major on our website. And it's a major in territorial development. So deep knowledge about spatial development, spatial planning, especially a focus on regional development and yeah, territorial and spatial things. Let me introduce um, the University of Hanover. So we are Leibniz University and the spirit of Leibniz is global thinking and interdisciplinary research. This is what we also try to focus on in our lectures, but also in the spirit of the whole university. We are structured in um, around 13 different faculties and institutions. And uh, we are based at the um, architecture and landscape science faculty. So this is our main faculty we belong to and we um, our study program is at. So we have a lot of um, topics that are somehow related to spatial context, but also to landscape, for example, landscape architecture, but architecture itself. And also um, our territorial development major, which is completely in English. Most of the other programs are somehow in German, but still a few um, courses are in English. We are located in the heart of the city of Hanover, I would say. So here you can see the locations of the university. And our campus is at Herrenhausen, which is very close to the Herrenhäuser Gärten. So based in a huge green campus where you can uh, enjoy your study time with um, your colleagues, but also have a good learning environment, which is also important if you um, think about where to go. So Hanover is somehow in the middle of Germany, more or less in the north, but it's very good connected to other larger cities. So um, you have also the opportunity to um, get to know Germany a bit better from Hanover. Our university is very international. So this is just an overview about international partnerships and collaborations. So most of our institutes, most of our staff, I would say nearly all are able to speak English, sure German, but we are getting international more and more. So um, we had a lot of international projects and a lot of international study programs. And I want to present what you can study at the Institute of Environmental Planning. So here you can see the building of the Institute, which is very close to the Herrenhäuser Gärten. And it's also very green. And this is the main point of our study programs, I would say. So we have a lot of different degree pro programs, for example, the Bachelor in Landscape Architecture and Environmental Planning and the Master in Landscape Architecture. Um, both programs are in German, so I will go more into detail with our master's program about environmental planning and territorial development. And there we have a German speaking major, which is nature conversation and landscape planning, and the completely English speaking major, territorial development. Sure, some um, we have also some English courses in the other major of nature conversation and landscape planning, but there it's more uh, or less in German. So the territorial development is completely in English. So what do you, can you expect from the Masters in Environmental Planning and Territorial Development? In our time, we are dealing a lot with sustainable development. How can we build a better future for us, for our children, for the whole world? And because of a lot of changes, for example, climate change, but also society um, that changes, we expect or we already feel a lot of consequences on humanity, on plants, fauna, but also on ecology, economy. So these are the main aspects we are dealing with. And we try to combine those huge and large challenges with spatial development, for example, when we are talking about renewable energies, but also urban and rural relations the conversation of biodiversity and a lot of other challenges we are dealing in an environmental and spatial context. As I said, we had two different major, 
the one on nature conversation is focusing, as it said, on nature conversation and on the implementation implementation of landscape planning. But we also have the other major, this is in English, which is focusing on um, planning instruments, the spatial development and how um, yeah, territorial development is happened in Germany, but also in other countries. Well, if you study the program in Hanover, you will get an expert and you really learn how to understand lands landscapes, regions, but also the current use or the potential use of those um, areas. And you will get to know the com complexity of spatial development. Our students also learn how to develop landscape designs and not only how to fulfill the real task, I don't know, with um, development of plants or something like this. So I would say the more or less hard skills, but we also dealing a lot of with governance styles and the user interests. So how people deal with the environment, with the spatial context and how we can somehow combine the nature conversation with the planning law and the spatial development that has to be done. I brought here an overview about the course content. So what do we have on our program? We have a lot of, man, no, not a lot. We have a few mandatory modules, which are, for example, urban and regional development or environmental planning, as well as European Union policies. So those everyone has to do. And we had a lot of time for elective modules, which means that you can somehow choose in which way do you want to deepen your knowledge? So you can choose a lot of elective models that deal with different um, deeper contexts. So for example, you can choose something about planning methodology, but also about planning theory, or you can deal with sustainability. So we have a lot of changing topics every semester so that you can somehow really define what do you want to deepen in your course, in your study program. And one important thing in our study program is the master's project we are teaching in. So we have every semester a huge master's project, which is around 15 ECTS. So half of your semester you will spend in a master project, which means that you deal with a topic for half for around half a year, five to six months in a small group. So we have a supervisor and then we have a small group, five a maximum of 10 people dealing together with only one topic, very um, deep in their knowledge on it, for example, on sustainable inner city development or other um, spatial uh, topics. So you really work together in a team with a supervisor together, you get to know these topics very uh, deeply. And the fourth semester masters, is structured that you have the, the last semester completely somehow free for your master thesis. So you really can um, take your time to focus on a special topic you want to deepen in the end of your um, master studies. We also have some, I call them special teaching methods. So as I already mentioned, we have these project courses where you really work together in a team um, with uh, the other students together and with the supervisor. But we also have a lot of excursions or um, something we can we call Stegreife in German, which means that you have for one week, a very intense week of a special topic where you deepen your knowledge. So it's not this classical courses, more or less interactive with different study groups. And you really um, yeah, can enjoy learning in different formats. And what we also doing is studying and teaching very international. So we have these Erasmus program, for example, different intensive programs, but do you also have the chance to go abroad in your master's program. So if you're studying here in Hanover, for example, the third semester would be great to go abroad at our partner university and all over Europe to see another university for one semester and collect other experience from Europe there as well. We have a lot of university partnerships, for example, with Thessaloniki, but also we have German French planning seminars and our university is also a part of the European Uni Universities Linking Society and Technology 
which is shortly called EU list, which means we have a lot of informal or formal cooperation with other universities that are not part of these Erasmus um, contracts. So we have a lot of other cooperations where you can go abroad and where you have a lot of different projects with. So we are also try to um, teach internationally and have international case studies. So not only focusing on Germany. What you should bring if you want to study our um, major territorial development is a basic knowledge in landscape planning and nature conversation. Um, sure, our master's program somehow fits to our bachelor in landscape architecture and um, environmental planning. But you can also do another bachelor, for example, in urban or regional planning or something that deals with plant ecology and soil science. So we have to, um, so you have to have a basic knowledge, but not deep knowledge in all of these topics. What you should also should do is enjoy the field work. As I said, we are working in smaller groups as a team, and we really want to get actively involved with users or um, yeah, trying to have creative scientific work by including interviews and other mapping techniques in our um, teaching abilities. And what you also should be interested in the challenges I mentioned, so not only climate change, but also society change and so on. And um, it would be great if you have experience in planning offices or nature protection bodies, but it's not mandatory. And sure, a basic knowledge of English is important because this program is completely in English. Where can you work after you um, graduated this program? So we have a lot of environmental planners that are engaged in public authorities, but also organizations or planning offices. And we have a lot of private companies that also deal with environmental planning. And we have the experience that international students um, are very welcomed in Hanover and Germany that have this um, degree and they sure can work here in Germany very well. What do you do in your um, work life? So you mainly um, deal with landscape and spatial planning, but also with some um, special landscape um, assessments like the environmental assessment or habitat protection, but also urban and regional development, which is the main course of this master program. And we have a lot of students that will that deal with tourism, but also environmental education and consulting after they graduated at Hanover. And sure, as we are masters, Master of Science, you have the chance to um, yeah, embark on a doctoral studies. So this can also be an opportunity to stay here at the university. We also hire some students assistants so that you get into our team here and somehow get a chance to see how the scientific work is at university. Um, you can um, apply via um, online. So um, on our website, which is also here, I can post it in the chat as well. You can see all the um, requirements that you have to hand in. So it needs to be um, sure your application documents, including a motivation letter, which not should be that long. So a maximum of, of um, one page and some work examples. You can use some work examples from your bachelor's, for example. So just hand in what you already did and show that you somehow fit to our program. So if you are dealing with spatial context, territorial development, just hand in such work samples. And yeah, just let us know why do you want to come to Hanover and why do you want to study this program? Um, I will not go into detail with all these application deadlines because I posted in the chat as well. So we have a lot of application um, deadlines for non-EU, for EU. So feel free to have a look at our website. It's mostly um, the 1st of June, the 1st of December, or the 15th of April and the 15th of October, where you have to apply. And for all of them who are not from the EU, you have to apply via UniAssist. So this is a um, platform where it's already mentioned what you have to hand in. And why do you have to study in Hanover? Just quickly, we have some additional uh, learning environments that should help you to study here. For example, the Center for Quality Enhancement in Teaching and Learning, which also 
um, has a lot of e-learning courses and which helps you with the language, but also with scientific working and methods and so on. And we have a study, pro study buddy program, which means that people from, from abroad have the chance to get a study buddy who helps you with, um, yeah, be part of the university while coming here, try to find an accommodation and so on. We also have an international office that helps you with everything. So feel free to contact us um, and ask your questions. And last but not least, Hanover is a very nice city and has a very good surrounding. It's a, the capital of Lower ne Saxony and has a, lot, a large exhibition site. And we have a lot of larger companies where also some students of us work with. And it's a green city. So as I already mentioned, we are close to Herrenhäuser Garten, Maschsee, but also we have a large forest, Eilenriede. So it's not only good to study here, but you also have a good uh, surrounding to study. So feel free to ask your questions to me or um, to the Dean of Studies, it's Sonja Nollenberg. And you can also find the links here in my presentation I will share and I will also share it in the chat. So we are very happy if you want to apply and if you have any questions, feel free to post it in the chat or just contact me via email. Thank you.